Hi, I'm Jackie, and today I'll be reviewing Amber's portfolio site. Right off the bat, you'll see a profile picture of Amber, including tabs above, which include home, resume, projects, and contact. You see her full name to the left-hand side and desire field, which is media communications. Below this, you see a nice little intro about me, which states hire me as social media manager, editor, or project manager. I like how in the first page, she indicates what she specializes in. Strolling down to Amber's portfolio, you'll notice her work experience, which is clear and short with time frames worked. Now we're in the education section. Again, you see the years attended and degrees completed. Below the education section, you notice a view my resume box. That's right above contact me. Once I click the box, it actually directs me away from Amber's portfolio which takes me to a full-on resume that's well-written, which includes job title, full job description, years active, and again, her education details. I actually do like this because if you have the experience, you have to indicate what you know. So the fact that it takes you away f to a different page instead of having everything cluttered into one portfolio side makes it less clutter and more professional looking. Once I'm done reading her resume, I would hit the back button in order to take me back to her portfolio. Her portfolio ends with a contact me box and where I'm able to send her a message with my information for a response. At the bottom, you'll notice that it ends with a fictitious address and social media links that actually do not direct me to her direct links. So that would be something that I would include in order for her clients to be able to reach her. Another suggestion I have for Amber is I noticed to the right hand side while scrolling down her portfolio, you notice a slight delay of the areas I'm in, which indicate about me, work experience, although I'm currently viewing education. Now it indicates that I'm in education, but I'm in between the bottom of education and contact me. And now that I'm in the contact me section, you'll notice that the navigation actually catches up. So I think what might have happened is that either Amber added a section or deleted a section, which caused the navigation to be delayed. And I'm only saying this because this happened to me while I was creating my Real Deals Taco website. I deleted a section and added sections, which caused my navigation to be out of whack. And also, once you go to the very top of Ambrose's portfolio, you notice tabs for home, resume, projects, and contact. Although, when we just went over the tabs below, there is no projects tab. So once I hit the projects tab above, you see her projects with the direct link that actually opens a different tab and takes you to view all her projects, which I really love. And it even reminded me to go back last minute and add that to my portfolio. So since her portfolio is strollable and is not indicated in the tabs below to the left, I might have completely missed her projects off together, which would have been a shame. So that's something that I would suggest adding to your bottom tabs. Overall, I really enjoyed Amber's portfolio. I like her consistency. I liked her color theme, which showcased Amber's personality. I also enjoy the simplicity, which isn't too flashy or confusing to read or to navigate. Amber's really helped me and reminded me what to add to my portfolio to make it better. Thanks, Amber. So this concludes my review for our project portfolios. Thank you guys for viewing, and I'll see you guys next time.